yesterday, Jesus was invited to dine with a Pharisee in his house. A Pharisee is always a Pharisee, even in his private life. Even if he knows that in front of him, the one who he invited is Jesus. Because Jesus, he didn't recognize who he is. And so came the discourse still about purification. And what happened next? He received a strong word from Jesus by saying, Your heart is full of plunder and of evil. And today, as the continuation of the gospel yesterday, Jesus is telling them that woe to you Pharisees because you are the burden of the people. You are the source of their hatred, of their pains. And most of all, you are the one disturbing those simple people and also those scholars of the law what did not escape the words of Jesus pwede naman sana na tumahimik na lang siya but still being insulted he wants to say a word and that's why he also received the strong words of Jesus from Jesus woe to you also scholars of the law because you you impose on people burden hard to carry but you yourself do not leave one finger to touch them Jesus today simply telling us that we must be more human or those Pharisees and the scholars of the law to be the source of encouragement to others to lessen the burden of the people to be a helping hand to be a source of inspiration not a source of burden not a source of destruction so dear brothers and sisters let us be the reason why people may smile, become prayerful, and become helpful to one another by our good example, and be the source of a meaningful life of their, a meaningful existence of their lives, and not to be the unseen graves where unknowingly people walk in. Jesus simply invites us to help one another, even in our religious community, to be the source of inspiration, to be the source of encouragement, not the source of pain, not the source of discouragement, and also the burden for each other. So let us, dear brothers, try to follow and to live what Jesus is telling us to be the inspiration to be a helping hand to each other Amen <laughs>